Good morning, St. Albert the Great at Assumption Academy teachers, staff, and students. I'm Brielle Kuszewski. And I'm Delilah Croft. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to Viking AM. AM. Today is Tuesday, October 11th. The theme for this month is humility. Welcome back, everyone, from a long weekend. Let's begin our day with prayer. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please face the flag for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag to the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Viking Code. Do your best, do what's right, and treat others as you wish to be treated. The fact or fiction question is, the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, uses every letter but two in the English language. Do you think it is fact or fiction? Stay tuned to the end of the broadcast to see if your guess is correct. Today in history, in 1975, Saturday night live debuts. We have one birthday for today. Happy birthday to Lexi Kleinholz in fifth grade. Let's give her a special birthday clap. Woo! Today's lunch is beef nachos or corn dog served with a tossed garden salad and a frozen juice cup. Now, over to Daniel. Good morning, everyone. Daniel here for Green Screen Report. Today's weather is going to be a high of 71 and a low of 53, clear. Today's national days are National P Sausage Pizza Day mm, and National Face Your Fears Day. CYO Winter Sports Registration is going on right now. Make sure to sign up. Registration deadline is Saturday, October 15th. And now for a CYO sports update. In the past Sunday games, 7th and 8th grade football lost 6-13 to against St. Mary of the Assumption. Their next game will be Sunday, October, 10th, or October 16th versus St. Hilary at Benedictine at 1 p.m. This will be their last regular season game. 6th grade Black won 20-6 against St. Sebastian with the cheerleaders there rooting on the team. Playoff games will be announced Wednesday. Stay tuned. 6th grade Teal won 38-12 against St. Mary of the Assumption. Playoff games will be announced Wednesday. St will be announced. Stay tuned. All of the players have shown immense improvement week after week, and they should all be very proud of themselves. The 3rd and 4th grade volleyball team battled St. Basil this weekend. While they were unable to pull off a win, this team had their highest scoring set of 13 points. Not only did the girls serve well and compete in multiple volleys, but they also worked as a team to pass the ball three times with their returns. It was a true display of growth and we couldn't be proud of them. The fifteenth grade the fifth grade team won their first set this season against St. Albert the Great. This was also the team's first three set match and they just barely missed the match win by two points. It was a nail-biter of a game, and everyone walked out proud by the end. Mrs. Schirmeyer came to watch, and without doubt, the team has deemed her their good luck charm. If you have any updates on Viking sports, please contact or email Mrs. Schreiner, Mr. K, or one of the broadcast team members. The saint for today is St. John the 23rd. In 1925, he became a papal di diplomat, serving first in Bulgaria, then in Turkey, and finally in France. During World War II, he became well acquainted with Orthodox Church leaders. With the help of Germany's ambassador to Turkey, Archbishop Ron Colley helped save an estimated 24,000 Jewish people. St. John the 23rd, pray for us. That's all I have for you today. Back to Brielle and Delilah at the desk. Now, now let's see if your guess. fact or fiction question is correct. The correct answer is fiction. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, uses every letter in the English language. Hey, Riel, do you want to hear a joke? Sure. What do librarians take with them when they go fishing? What? A bookworm. Ha 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 ha. 
Hey, Brielle, what did you do for service day? I went to my friend's house to cook some food for the homeless. What about you? So did I. Oh, I think wow. I saw you around. So did I. Yeah. And now for some special announcements. We have a special announcement from Mr. Cheeseburger. How was your weekend? I bet you were so thankful for the time off. Speaking of being thankful, the delicious pies we are selling along with the Cheesecake Factory cheesecakes and cookie dough will all be the sweetest ending to, the, to your Thanksgiving meal. If you haven't registered yet, do it tonight. There is still time to register and send out 15 emails to earn a week of dress down. Friday, October 14th is the Junior High Fall Harvest Dance. The cost is $10 plus a non-perishable food donation for a lend a hand food pantry. Trunk or Treat is scheduled for Saturday, October 15th at 5 p.m. You can find more information in the Viking E newsletter. The first annual Parents Corps Chili Cook-Off and Cornell Tournament will be Friday, October 21st. For more information, check the E newsletter. Now for an announcement from Mrs. Dolis. Exciting news! We are starting a program called Lunch and Learn. Students, parents, or, staff, or school staff can present on a topic they are knowledgeable about. This could be an interesting trip, a passion project, or an interesting hobby. The good news is we have our first speaker ready to go. The topic is about native gardening and gardening in an eco-friendly way. Our guest speaker, Mrs. Robeck, will talk about the difference between native and non-native plants and why they are essential for wildlife. This is tomorrow, and you have to pack a lunch, and through, it is during lunch and recess in the fellowship room. If you want to sign up, grades 6, 7, and 8, see your history teacher in order to sign up, and grades 3, 4, and 5, see your homeroom teacher in order to sign up. This is optional. Students who do not want to sign up will be eaten in the lunchroom as normal. That's all we have for today. I'm Brielle Kraszewski. And I'm Delilah Croft. And, and that's Viking AM. AM.